Hey guys, here's a recap of our last war. It was with Welcome Myanmar. For those of you who don't know geography as well as you should, which includes me, Myanmar is about the size of Texas, although a very different shape. It's over kind of south of China and east of India. Um, if you lived in Myanmar, you would die younger on average than you do in the United States, but you'd also be less likely to be killed by violent crime. So go figure. So anyway, here's a recap of some of our battles in the war with Welcome Myanmar. So here's Ace's attack. He's imbibing in a little lava loon with a dragon minion chaser. Now he's actually attacking up. Technically he's got a Town Hall 10, but he's got all Town Hall 9 offenses. So he gets his hounds down and they tank for the balloons, but he probably gets them in a little early given how far into the base those air defenses are. I might have dropped my loons first and let the hounds run through them, but he's going to get a good solid two star on this, which is what we needed on this base. He's, yeah, uh, we had the two Town Hall 10s at the top that had to get covered. Uh, I think Asa got both of them, and I think Kalen got uh, a one star on one of them too. So you guys are doing great covering up. Now he got everything in the core there except that Expo and the Inferno. So now what he's got left is his heroes. And you got to watch the, this queen because she is truly the hero of this attack. She gets in there, she just gets the town hall before the clan castle loons take her out. Then his king goes out and he gets a 67% 2 star, which is just what we needed on that town hall 10. Next, here's Extreme with a similar attack. It's a lava loonion, lots more minions, no dragon this time though. So he's going to come in from the west. He gets his loons down in a nice wide spread and then lets his three lava hounds run through the loons. The hounds get to the air defenses first, so they tank and they make it onto the third and fourth air defenses with the loons behind, haste spells and rage spells cover the core of the base. And right here he's just going to get with his loons and the pups, the last couple of defenses, still plenty of loons up, minions around the edges for cleanup. Comes in as a nice solid Town Hall 9 on Town Hall 9 hit, 5 attacking up to 3. Here's Muzza on a, another Town Hall 9 attack, except this one's going to be a ground attack. Nice to see those from time to time. He starts an AQ walk down there on the very south corner of the base. He's going to try to clear out the southeast side of this base. He's showing a lot of patience here. As you know from the quote at the beginning, your two best warriors in your attack are patience and time, and he uses them well. Here comes a golem to tank for the wall breakers. The wall breakers open up the wall. Now he didn't quite have a funnel set because he's still got buildings there just to the right of that opened up wall. So a bunch of his troops are going to go outside, but it works out fine. So here come the Valks, here come the wizards. Rage spell goes down, heal spell goes down. He's got some troops inside the wall and some troops outside the wall, but those wizards are all shooting over the wall and taking out buildings on the inside as they go around and he's just going to run around the edge of this base. Now the two things that are a problem for him are those Expos. His Queen just took out one of them, but those Expos are right in the core. It's always nice to get those down early, but his, his Queen stepped up and got one of them. He's got plenty of troops left here. His Queen has moved in. And will she get the Town Hall? The answer is no, she doesn't, but the Valks are right behind her and they have finished core in this base and you get a three-star ground attack. And here comes Anthony bringing a ground attack. We knew there were balloons in the clan castle because they're basically, they had balloons in all their clan castles. So he's very patient here, he uses time on his side, lures the clan castle loons out, poisons them, kills them with his wizards and archers, busts open the wall, and then pulls a hat trick here. Well, maybe not hat trick, but pretty close. Busts open the inside wall, a double wall break, and tries for the hat trick on the third wall. Doesn't quite get it with that third batch of wall breakers. I can't even ever get that second wall open with wall breakers. But then his Valks all go into the core, he heals them, he's got rage spells and a haste spell, and while the king, followed by some wizards, is going around the outside, king and wizards, by the way, is a great combo, his Valks are just tearing through this base. 
So King and Valks going up around the edge on the top, those outside buildings, coming down to this last group of buildings that's left standing. Remember your Valks have basically the same hit points as the same level giants would have. So they can take a real beating. In addition to dishing out a lot of damage, they go in here, cut through these walls like butter, and it's a nice three-star Town Hall 8 on Town Hall 8 ground attack. 